Hello everyone, this is Coach Robert, and this video is about how to record and then send a PGN file. The reason I'm making this video is I know that a lot of my students in the past, when they were just getting started, they would be confused about how to um, actually create the digital version of a chess game after they'd written it down on paper during a tournament. So here's a really simple way to do it. We're going to use LiChess, not just because I really like LiChess, but because I think it's way easier than on chess.com. It's, it's worth doing because LiChess is free and this is very, very simple. So my recommended tool um, will be to create a study. So you go to learn and then study. There is another way to do this where you, you go to tools and do analysis board, but I'm, I'm going to recommend that we do this in a study because um, that way you'll have two copies of it in the end. You don't have to do any extra steps to save it. On LiChess, when you create a study, it saves it to your account all the time. So you click the, you click this green, hold on, let me go back. I did a little too fast. You click this green button that says create study, right? And then there it goes, you click it. And then it'll prompt you to fill in some details for the study. If you're just trying to save your uh, score sheet as a PGN, this part doesn't really matter that much. But my recommended setting for everyone is to give it some kind of interesting name. So I might call this like um, tournament game example because that's tournament game score sheet example because that's what we're doing right now and just make everything like invite only and for contributors only that way you don't have anybody poking around on your studies that you don't necessarily want to see your your games or your embarrassing uh, chess experiments so what you'll do next is create a new chapter and we want this to be empty because we're going to create this game probably from a, a score sheet so you just create chapter and now you can make up to 64 chapters in a study, but the main thing is this is the part where you can play out the moves. So let's say you had a score sheet and you just played a game like this one. I'm just going to play some sample moves, right? You see over here on the right hand side, it's filling in uh, the moves as text. You're going to be able to save all that stuff later on. Um, just on a whim, I'm going to play out um, one of my old games that went similar to a game played by Paul Morphy. So all the all the moves are appearing here on the right hand side as we play them, which makes it very very convenient for us. Because all we have to do is play the moves like what we did during the game. So you might read your score sheet and then write like play the move that you saw. And then when you're finished, you know, here's the end of the game. When you're finished, you have to go down to this sharing button, okay? So it's a share and export. You can see it from here, so I'll leave the board visible. So down here, um, actually I'll scroll down more because there's a lot to see here. So when you click the share and export button, which looks like P symbol or something, um, you have all these different options. And the one that we really care about is the chapter PGN. You can do the study PGN too, but chapter PGN is the simplest because it means whatever chapter you're in, and we're in chapter one because we only have one chapter. You're going to get that entire chapter's PGN as text that you can copy and then send to your coach or whoever you want. Or you can copy it into another program if you want. So you might click chapter PGN and a dialog box will appear and you can save this with whatever name you want. And this is and a PGN file is basically a text file. It's like if you open Notepad, wrote a bunch of chess moves in it and then saved it, that would be a PGN. You just have to change the extension so that chess programs know that they're getting what they want, a PGN, something with game data in it. But it, it's basically text, so it makes these really small files. You can save where you want, and then once you've done that, you can go send it to your coach or your friend or, or put it into a program on your computer if you wanted to. Um, some other useful features, you can send this study, which I think is a great alternative to sending PGNs. Um, you can send the link, you can copy the link down here, you can also copy it at the top in your URL bar. Um, but you also have this FEN thing, so if you want to send just a position, like let's say um, you could remember your game but you couldn't remember how to set it up, like you might want to give someone this position as a puzzle for white to play and win, you could go down here and whatever position's on the board, if you copy this and then paste it into a chess program where it says insert FEN, it will copy this position exactly as you see it. So these are all some useful features for sharing and saving chess data. 
And I really do recommend that people use Light Chest because it's free and these studies will always be here for you. So whatever you want to save to your computer or share with someone, you may as well save a digital copy because it's just, it's just really, really convenient that way. So I hope this is useful to people who are having a hard time figuring out how to save a PGN. And um, yeah, good luck with your chess.